Hi everyone, I'm on a little bit of a trip out today. I've got uh, myself over here to Northwich. This is Northwich Driving Test Centre because one of my training instructors is on a part two test over here and I want to come, come and find out how they've got on and what they're doing. Um, they're going to be back in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, but after that and after we've found out the result, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put myself under a little bit of pressure because I don't know Northwich. Um, I've driven here and there's been a few little tricky roads that say have caught me out but it did require a fair bit of concentration so because I've got the camera with me what I'm going to do I'm going to drive home and let everyone see and know exactly what I'm looking at on a road that I don't know. So that was a good result. Um, my uh, my potential driver instructor passed uh, three marks in an area, and they've got no idea. And we've done this well. My PDI's done this because the test weight and lists are nearly as bad um, for ADI Part Two tests as they are for a normal L test. So that's why he chose to go and get one a little bit sooner in an area he doesn't know. But you should be able to do that. You should be able to drive in an area that you don't know and that's exactly what i'm going to do on the way home so i've got my glasses out already that's a real 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 important point um you don't want to be digging in your storage areas for your glasses and take them out on a move so i usually stick mine on the top of my head if there's a likelihood i'm going to use them i'm going to put in the sat nav to go home um, I don't want it to take me on the motorway though, that would be too easy. Um, what I've done on the way here, um, I did go over the Runcorn Bridge and I've prepaid for two trips. Um, the Runcorn, well the new Runcorn Bridge, um, it's £2 each way and I always, I always like to sort that out before I go. Um, so you don't get three days later when suddenly you realize I forgot to pay it and then you've got a fine. So um, that's a little bit of advice that I, I would always say if you know you've got to go over somewhere with tolls, um, pay it beforehand. It's not always possible. Um, right, sound. So I've set the sat nav. It's 27 miles and it's 46 minutes. So I'm suspecting it's going to send me, uh, not the motorway, but um, probably through the back end of uh of Runcorn and then uh, back over the uh, the bridge so um we will try and find a way back what i am going to be doing i'm going to be verbalizing what i'm doing in relation to risk and i'm going to get my eyes out and uh, hopefully pick the correct route so um let's get working right let's have a look so test center there could be people walking around there's nothing not even going to signal no issues and that uh by doing that, by uh, talking about the uh, signal and not signaling, um, sorry, just waving goodbye to the uh, examiner. I've known him for many years. Um, so yeah, we're turning right. So signaling, um, well, people say signal all the time. I'm not going to talk about signaling in specifics with this today, um, but it is really important to get observing and find out what's what. We're turning right at the end of the road. Risk is pretty low. Um, there's a little bend to this junction, so whenever you're approaching, you give way, try and make sure you approach at 90 degrees. Um, I've got a nice view both sides now. I've got a parked obstruction to my left, and um, both of the roads um, do seem to be dipping down a little to where I am. This tree to the right-hand side is obstructing a little bit of view, and I've got the uh, pedestrian to deal with in a sec but we've found a gap because someone turned off. That's all good. So, anyone overtaking me? No, nope. there's a few learners around as well. Um, that's not necessarily gonna increase risk, but it could, if they're a little slow, um, cause me a couple of other things that I've got to deal with, so I'm always on the watch out. So we're on this road for a little bit. I'm gonna be turning left. What's around the corner? Park van, and the crossing's clear both sides. No one's close behind. Now, meeting situation, I've got to ensure it's clear before we go. It's not. It's looking pretty clear after the uh, the red one. Um, what am I going to do? I am going to be positive and show the lorry that I'm going. 
still at a speed where I could stop comfortably if there are any people, especially young children, running out. The doors become incidental when you could have people. Thank you, Mr. Lorry Driver. Turning left. Lights may change. I'm just being ready. Again, just on a little look around the junction. No one's following me really close or anything, so that's pretty easy. Okay. Downhill section. Again, no one's following me. So, this is the first time I've been to Northwich. I did, years ago, work for the Press Association. I used to do a little bit of stuff on the football matches. And I used to go down to Crewe a fair bit, but I used to go on a motorway and down the M6 to Crewe. Crewe's not that far away from Northwich. No one's close behind. No issues with the pedestrians on the left, although I did have a quick look just to see how close that lady was walking to the pavement. Um, and that's why it just moves across a little bit to the right side of my lane. I'm uh, just holding back the motorbike. If something big swung around that corner, I don't think there'd be an issue, but I'm just giving them an out. That's it. It's not going to affect me whatsoever. Now, looking at my sat now, we've got a, a yellow area a little bit further up. I'm just making sure that the white one has seen me and stayed. Nothing else through side to side. Always have a little glance. And from what the motorbike does will tell me what's over the bridge. Although it is a 30 limit. He didn't break. Doesn't mean there aren't any problems, but it's less likely. All the way down, does he break before he goes to the corner? Van behind, not too bad either. I'll have to excuse my dirty back window. So, around the corner, down the hill. Always look at the furthest point you can see. Yep, yeah, queue. So I'm just uh, slow and early. I'm off the uh, accelerator. I'm going to leave the bus room to clear as well to give them plenty of room. So I'm off the uh, gas early using my brake lights just to command and control anything that's going on behind. And as always, I'm doing my utmost to keep things moving like I've been able to do. That reduces risk massively. If you generally get hit from behind, it's generally going to be because there's a sharp stop. So if you can keep moving, it reduces that except dramatically lights could change yeah I can easily stop for the line I didn't even use my brakes I just used the coming off the accelerator and let the car doing its uh, regen and slowing it down itself so there you go it wasn't a problem the position I'm in um, also reduces a little bit of a risk a little bit further back from the line the risk really is of bigger vehicles coming across this bridge with the uh, lack of space we've got to this side, it shouldn't be too bad here. There's a fair bit of uh, extra room to the curb. Cyclist on the uh, little path through. There's a pedestrian just behind me. What's the cyclist going to do? Hmm. I'm just watching him there. There's another lady with a pram. He's decided to go through the traffic. A little bit of a risk here, so I'm just ready to warn anyone oncoming as well. That should help him out now. Is the van going to accommodate? Yes, good. Everyone looking after each other? All fine. So, head around to the left. It's our only option, but I am going to signal. It doesn't do any harm. And then, uh, what have we got? We've got a queue here to the right-hand side. The road isn't particularly residential, but it doesn't mean there wouldn't be anyone uh, walking out in between. So, I was just picking my... Uh, my speed to suit. It's, uh, it is a 40 limit, this section of road. It is clear, but although the sun could cause a little bit of an issue um, for certain people's view, probably people from this direction, obviously, but look around. It does come back down to a 30 limit, so I'm, again, just going to time it. Have a look at the sharpness of this bend, just in case anything big was coming around. So, looking down over to the right-hand side, I've got a Solid line separating the lanes, cross viewing. This lady to the left isn't a big deal. Nice big sweeping bend that is. This is a little narrower if something big came the other way. I still think we should have enough room, but I'm just slowing down just in case. Not a problem, what do we see? It's parked vehicles. Nothing behind is likely to overtake, but you never know. You're always watching it. And again, I'm doing my utmost to keep things moving to reduce risk. Now, I'm just going to see what the van does 
no, there wasn't quite enough room and there's still not going to be with this fan so I've got my position out as far as I can in situations like this occasionally you might be able to go with cars but maybe not with a van or a bigger vehicle me if I'm ever in doubt I'll wait lights could change by the time I get there it's only a crossing though and uh, no one's pressed it no it's uh, it's not a problem no one's there that guy's not gonna oh he's pressing it but I'm gonna get through that's all fine no issues and um, this one I'm gonna leave time to uh, to finish controlling the one again behind doing my utmost to keep things moving that's all fine slight issue with the gentle right bend with the parked cars on the left it's putting me to a position where I can't be seen so 26 miles an hour I was doing there rather than 30 I'm gonna do my utmost to just be seen and get a better view here also no one an issue behind a quick look at the uh, BMW 2 back with lights on um, nothing stereotypical about that but um, BMW sometimes are quite powerful vehicles so um, times they are going to be overtaken it could be anyone though but look for the clues is there any issues back there not really this van to the left hand side the four wheel drive open reach more than more than uh, more than van it's not a van actually um, but because of its lights just think where's the person working give them space give them room um, even there is able to keep things moving no one catching me up so risk is really low what's likely to go on are the temporary lights that I can see likely to change maybe so I'm not trying to race through but I am keeping up with the flow they are blocked by view now I'm through because we're past the sign just look for people problematic with the queue the opposite side there's plenty of space the lorry's uh, done a good job holding back from uh, behind the bus well done buddy no issues with the vehicle to the right no one overtaking me from behind all right not too bad i don't know this road this isn't the way that it came in either so um it is totally new to me so i'm not going to be sort of talking loads to camera i'll find little pockets to do it i'm suspecting but i'm not going to be doing a load because i need to spend my time looking out to find out what's what no one's overtaking me but it, that's my car shouting because it thinks i'm going to splat that pedestrian that's all all right um you've got to be careful of these modern cars as well sometimes they'll not only warn but they'll jump on the brakes as well so you've got to be really conscious of that with people behind open reach vans to the left hand side where are the people again i've got plenty of space they're all parked away from the road still okay pedestrian on the left with the pram not a problem I'm able to make a little bit more progress it is a 50 limit so why not brake lights though one behind's all okay it's warning of a school stagger junction slow on the road so reduced accordingly this one's going to emerge it's totally fine no issues to the junction to the left one behind's turning and getting out of the way. We don't know what the uh, the vehicle behind is going to be like. So speed limit changes to 60. No one overtaking. Off we go. Cyclist back off a bit. Just to let the Volvo finish. And off we go. So accommodate these people coming the other way as well. Um, you can. Although there will be many people saying, I don't have to. Honestly, don't take that attitude with driving. Help. If we all do our little bit to aid flow, honestly, no issues. Right, I see a bit further up. Uh, oh, car in front's turning. I was just uh, looking a little bit further up. I see some cars moving in the far, far distance. There's a, there's a petrol station. Looks like green's probably a BP. So that's how far away I'm looking. That's got to be about half a mile away. No issues either side. No. Now I can make a little bit of progress, no one's overtaken, all good. But yeah, you've got a petrol station, um, warning of traffic lights, still national speed limit sign on the left, people are all obviously braking because the lights are on red, no point legging it to get there. So, I'm just going to take my glasses off a little bit, or for a little bit, I don't quite need them yet, the sun's over to my left hand side, so it's uh, not too much of an issue. 
I think we're going to be able to keep this one flowing, but with the amount of vehicles that are here, I'm suspecting we're going to be soon. I'm always going to stop, so I've got a view of up the road, of the lights, and of what's happening. People all too often get jammed up behind the vehicle that they're following, and that's it, and that's not enough. Lights are changed. Bob and Tom's, boys and bikes, twits on motorbikes. No, please don't take offence if you've got a motorbike. I'm a motorcyclist myself. It's just an easy term that we can use just to get people looking out for you, that's all. Um, lights could change. Still ready for them, ready for them. We're through. Nothing left, nothing right. We're all good. Uh, which way should you look? Uh, we've got brake lights up ahead. It looks as though another temporary set of road works. Um, so I'm not legging it. There's no one behind me. But why did I look left first there? The right's the nearer danger. However, I find that sometimes a left look, you can eliminate threat earlier, one side or the other. And honestly, it doesn't really matter as long as you are eliminating threat. If you're leaving it to the last moment, um, for example, if I hadn't been able to check left and then look right before I'd arrived at that road on the right-hand side, that may have been an issue, but the way it was, totally fine. Again, doing me utmost to keep things moving. Not sure whether we're going to be able to keep moving or not. One behind's arriving slowly behind, so that's all fine. We've got an escape route out in front. Whether or not that you'd be able to deal with that if anyone came barreling in, but I'd just like to give myself that opportunity to if it happened. Lights have obviously changed, can't see them, that the cars are moving, no one's overtaking me, no one's catching on the inside, cyclists in particular. We're all good. Looking out for the people working. And to the left has uh, stayed as they should do. They should look for uh, the correct time to flow out, and it's probably not at the end of this flow, it was probably when the opposite finished, or when our flow started, more than likely. Any issues again? in between the queue and traffic so i've just reduced a lot of people don't do that enough but it is a high risk you might have a, a cyclist who's going to nip through and then try and get to the front because there's not enough room on the other side you've got to deal with that you've got to be ready if you're driving one of these metal boxes so find time to put my glasses on at the appropriate time reduce we're all good balance it's all reducing risk not a problem anyone going to overtake that one not an issue behind either so i'm asking myself these questions all the time down at the bottom there's a park van on the grass verge and the four-wheel drive nothing's moving from there could easily stop it's fine no one's overtaking me road stretches out downhill um, i've got plenty of distance out in front of me it's all good just looking for brake lights now on the further vehicles to try and give me a heads up that there could be an issue. Little slippier section, it looks as though down at the bottom. Sometimes you'll find areas like that can get a little bit of flooding in. We're all good, uphill. There's obviously a junction to the left. No one's moving from it. And the van's still making good progress and I've got good distance, no issues with the one behind. No idea where we are. So it's quite soon I'm going to be doing a left turn. There were some brake lights a little bit further up. Was that just for the sharpness of the corner? Possibly. We're going back to a solid line in the middle, so represents more danger. So we've just brought it down a little bit. Underneath overhanging trees, you can often find little slippy parts where the leaves have uh, congregated and, well, residue or even mud forms. So uh, it's not the mud, but I think you get where I'm coming from. It can be slippy. Still a solid line, one behind is fine, there's no pressure from that one. And uh, maybe a little bit more progress, but I've got some farm vehicle or farm buildings to the left, could be entrances, so I'm in no rush. Um, I can easily catch up if I want to, but what's the point? Looking across the left hand bend, not this right one. Van's turning. I'm trying to find now the gap that the van's going to take. After the red car, there's a space that the van's going to take. Are you that far ahead? Clear right, both junctions. No one overtaking, reduce them back to a 30 limit. So there's no point in me legging it. Okay, do you notice how that cross view, hopefully you can pick it up on, uh, on the dash cam. 
Um, hopefully you can pick up on what I was doing there, but cross viewing, really important to work out what was happening there. Pedestrians to the left are no issue, but I've still gave them a little bit more room because I had it. Not a problem. So I'm saying we've got 20 miles left in 31 minutes. Cyclist is moving back to their side of the road. Just being aware, now they're coming back again, so just wanted to make sure they got across. Not sure what that guy was doing. Roundabout coming up, we've got some uh, properties here to the left hand side, no one was coming out. Could be kids about there, what is the time? It is 10 past three, so it could be kids or kids coming home time. Road surface looks pretty poor there as well. Roundabout, we're continuing ahead. Try and pick up on the last vehicle as early as you can. Is it the silver Mercedes taxi? I think so, yeah. We can float, no one's next to me to my right. Left signal would benefit, even though it's just for a little bit. I think it did benefit the uh, it was a box all coming out regardless of what make it was it did help them anyone going to overtake the lorry coming the opposite direction there is a vehicle behind just be ready ready to change ready to slow down still no idea where we are straight on at the next roundabout my sat nav saying there's the roundabout doesn't look too busy on the approach there's a few vehicles coming from the opposite side i'm trying to work out where the uh People carrier, Citroen's going. No one else to the right hand side. No one to my uh, right hand side next to me. Left signal is of no importance, so I'm not going to bother. Really forces you to look if you go down that route. There's risk with the roadworks. I haven't seen them yet. I haven't been able to. I'm a good distance back from this box van in front, but I haven't been able to see them. Which way we're we going at the roundabout? We are turning left. Uh, all yellow so we've got quite a heavy um, amount of traffic left signal is beneficial not necessarily just to the one behind more than likely to vehicles in front who's coming from a right lorry is not doing a u-turn blocking that road i'm good to go no one to my left before i exit i recognize this um bridge here that's on the m56 i think that's the road that i came out on so um, we are heading back in the correct direction this is just a pedestrian crossing area temporary one so not a problem no issue with the works traffic but I'm just again I'm just holding it back just in case there was but why block it is the vehicle opposite side going to be too wide no it's got a pretty wide track but it's still got plenty of room look for those things also have my glasses back on. Where are we going at the roundabout? Looks as though we're taking that second junction. And then we've got a little bit to do. Um, yeah, we're heading us back towards Runcorn. Just look out for the workmen. Keep them safe. They do a pretty horrible, dangerous job. Um, on occasions so please 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 look out for the uh all the guys and girls who, who try to fix our roads we've all got to do our bit so traffic's flowing is a roundabout coming up is it traffic light controlled do new so it's not this road on the left i'm taking it's the one a bit further no reason for me to let anyone out. The one behind was a little close. I wasn't going to be pressured, but um, it wasn't the time. I would have been uh, letting them out if I was probably another two or three cars further back. We've just seen, what did I say? School kid there to the left-hand side. Think about it. I did mention it only a few minutes ago, didn't I? What was the time? I think that was eight minutes past, so four minutes since then. Is the Mini the last one? Mini's the last one. Yeah, can go before the Volkswagen. This one to my right. Just keep an eye on it in case it comes in here also. Which it doesn't. 60 limit. No one overtaking. Can make a little bit of progress. I think I do recognise this road. I'm still going to talk about what I'm seeing. Um, I'm not going to overtake. Probably could do, but... I'll just have a quick word about this while it's quiet. Now, just been as you know to go and see the results of one of my pdis at the test center there and 
DVSA that pretty insistent on making progress. Me, I don't think there's anything wrong with me sat here doing 49 miles an hour in this situation. It's no issues whatsoever, but it's unfortunate, in my opinion, that the DVSA and I think some of the advanced stuff, the IAM and ROSPA, they're always looking for this extra progress. And in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. And that's, for me, one thing that makes people probably be in that mindset of ultimate progress all the time. And that, unfortunately, is a sign of impatience, in my opinion. Yeah, you need to have that ability. You need to know what your car is like acceleration-wise and how you can still make progress safely. But it shouldn't be a daily occurrence. You should be driving in that mindset all the time. I think it's wrong. Let me know what you think about that. So I'm quite happy sitting here, chilled to uh, 52 miles an hour. We're going to be 50 anyway in a sec because we've got a speed limit change. No issue, advisory speed limit um, on this bend. I'm not taking the bend now, I'm just following it. I sort of recognise this road, but I recognise it from before this was all built. I haven't been down here, where are we going? It says we're heading off to the right, I think. Yes, we are. Oh, no. Straight on my sat nav. It's terrible. She whiz. So you've got to be careful of that. Um, what should we do with this one to the left-hand side? Just giving it a little more, just so I can just be here. And now I'm going to settle. Now, I had to get up to 43.44 on that situation. I go the wrong way. I might have even gone the wrong way there. I made a mistake, made a mistake. But whatever I did, I did it safely. Now I am going to go ahead at this round. I may have made a mistake there. Don't know. Don't know the road. But don't make any rash decisions if you've got your sat nav telling you things. Sat navs don't half cause problems. And people then suddenly at the last moment just dive away and head off. Uh, in that one to the right for risk, no issues there. Yeah, we're well, obviously going ahead, and so that's all fine. That was a little bit clearer on my sat nav screen there. Got a 60 limit, just created a little bit more space from the lorry. Blue one to the far side's okay and staying there, no problem. So M62, M57. So here's the charges. And I do recognise this from here, but I think when I've come back this way, I haven't come from this direction. I think I've come from I've come from one of the side entrances there. I think I have. Anyway, um, maybe not. Don't know it. Um, I rarely come across this way. I used to do a fair bit of work. I have. I've been down from that. I've been down from that roundabout area before. Yes. Yeah, and then joined. Anyway. I sort of know this from now, so this gets a little bit easier. So I'll just have a little talk about what we've got. We've got a road joining, um, lane to my right. I'm just keeping an eye on things to my right hand side. I'm five miles an hour underneath the speed limit, so I've got a little bit of adjustment. It's quite nice to have the electric power as well that we can suddenly go, boom, turn on that tap, and you've instantly got that five miles an hour um, to clear stuff. I'm not going to go back to the left because the left lane heads off. We can see that by the gantry. So try not to look at the floor, the road surface, try and look up at the uh, the signs. I've said that before in a number of videos. So the skate route to my right is all good. Looks as though the middle lane does head off to the left as well, and it goes straight on. So we're all okay with that. Fine at what I'm doing. I'm doing 57, 58 miles an hour. Don't care whether people break the speed limit by a few, not fussed. I've got good distance, low and risk, nice little space, nice little quiet spot. Not going to leave it to the last moment um, like some people do. So what's your thoughts on what I've mentioned regarding progress? Do you think there's a point there with um, DVSA, if you understand the uh, ADI part two, or in fact, are there too many pressures from IAM and ROSPA to make that progress when you go off and do this advanced stuff. Where are you at with that? Um, with any case, 
So this little section, I've got a little bit to do until I get back onto the Nosley Expressway. I'm going to keep on talking. I'll probably wrap it up and finish the video up there. At the moment, we're all okay. Traffic's quite nicely spaced. It's not that heavy. I'm going to stick my sunglasses back on now. Audi's tucked it in behind me as well. I do know that area down to the left. That's uh, in witness. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of space more from the lorry. It's uh, slowed slightly and notice that then has uh, encouraged the Audi to overtake. It's fine. It's not a problem. There's a 60 limit. I'm doing 52. So I could overtake, but again, I think I've said this on motorway stuff that I do. Quite often I'm quite content just to stay here, um, go with the flow and let other people battle it out for that extra 30 seconds that's going to save them. When one road comes off, you've always got another one on. So I'm always aware of my escape routes to my right-hand side. I pick up on early, what's what shoulder check sometimes you will need to do that i've got a national speed limit a little bit more left in the speed limit now so i am going to make some progress still can easily stop in the distance to see is clear so that for me is worthwhile if i've got 10 miles an hour left in the speed limit to overtake i'll do it the audi to my left hand side is traveling at a similar speed I am going to go back into the uh, left-hand side, allow other people to make a bit of progress if required. Not a problem. National speed limit. Um, it is a dual carriageway. It's separated by the uh, central reservation. It is a 70 miles an hour limit. So many people down on this stretch just do 60 or even less because they're worried about the speed cameras. Anyway, um, we are taking the road off to the left keep an eye on this one because that will then reduce my escape route and it has reduced my escape route so notice before the road merged i was just backing off making sure that one was past me i'm following the signs of the m57 to southport it's all okay to glide across no reason to slow it down i do know this roundabout as well and i do know that you can pick the left hand lane to go around to the right hand side there's nothing that tells you on the approach or that didn't used to be um, so if you're ever in doubt what should you do well you should pick the right hand side because you've always got options to um, go all the way around road markings are pretty poor but they have put them on a5 300 is okay in both lanes but now do people and it's a good question to ask yourselves do people understand that in this outside lane lane three as we've got it now maybe not so you need to accommodate that within your driving. I'm going to leave myself plenty of space. Staggered formation is something that you've heard me say many, many times. Lorry behind slowing down nicely. Had an escape route if they weren't. Well, let's have a little look when the gap in the traffic from the right is. The gap's probably now. Might pick up on that. Stop them and let us change shortly. Which it did. Just keep an eye on things either side. So... Do people to my right hand side realize that I can turn round to the right from this side? So I'm just going to try and stay in this space. I'm not going to go next to this white van. Nice route all the way round, making sure I'm staying in the lane. I'm just aware of the blue one. I am going to put a left signal on so hopefully the blue one's seeing it. No issues to my left. Blue one's coming round in lane two. Where do I want to be with this van now? I'm out of here. There's that power. And when you've got it, if you need to use it sometimes, great. There are very few situations where you actually need to accelerate out of problems. But that was probably one of them. If it's not possible, you've always got that luxury of slowing down and maybe dropping behind people but there the best and biggest and safest space was to my right hand side um, with the speed that i was doing in relation to the blue one it was potentially a little bit of a problem until i put my foot down but that was the best solution in my opinion what would you have done there would your car have given you that rate of acceleration that i've luckily got in the tesla although 
not going to have it for too much longer. Um, you've probably uh, even seen the video already where I've said that I've, uh, I'm going to get rid of it. This is my probably my last road trip in this. But um, do you think that a little bit of extra power and acceleration can be a help sometimes? I absolutely think it's the case. But again, it's just finding the time to uh, to use it. I've just got some brake lights up ahead. Um, I've backed off and I'm slowing really early because there's a standing queue. So notice what I'm doing with these. Managed them because they are all bunching behind me and there is stopped traffic a little bit further up. So notice how gradually and early I've slowed everyone. If you see something like that, doing what I've just done is really, really important. Try and use it. Looks as though we're not even going to need to keep going. I'm watching the lorry to my left in case they've just skipped down the inside and wanted to just come out. It's a possibility. I'm not going to stop them. Um, just have a little look. I've got plenty of space. I can see past the white van with the, uh, the amber lights over the top. No issues to my left hand side themselves plenty of space and off we go we've got a little bit more risk just coming out from the junction where Tarbuck Island is and then uh, we'll go through that and then I think it's probably time to wrap it up so um, I hope that's been useful today most of those roads that I've traveled back on I didn't know it weren't actually that complicated there was a couple of little scenarios but all in all it wasn't too bad but hopefully me verbalizing it giving you a little bit of an idea of some commentary when you're doing commentary um, you can't verbalize everything that you see and look at and pay attention to but hopefully it gives you an idea of a few extra things if you're not doing the same road to my left does come off from the motorway from the m62 so just watching this one to my side i'm again using a little bit of my power just to get in that staggered spot and then I'm going to assess the flow of the traffic and then you've got the other road joining from Tarbuck. This red one's slightly catching the air uh, polo, so I'm just aware of that. I'm just going to hang back until I know that it's good to go. Yeah, it's good to go. Still watching these on the left-hand side with the traffic further in that left-hand lane now. Is anyone going to look like they're moving? They're quite well spaced apart from the van. The van furthest left is the one that's most likely to move out. There you go, it's most likely to move out now as well. So just backed off until the first van was gone. Had a little look to see whether it was John's uh, registration plate. No, I'm only kidding you, John. That wouldn't have been you, mate. Um, maybe in the area, but not like that. Anyway, I hope that's been a big help to everyone. Keep safe, everyone. And I'll uh, hope to see you next time.